time for another train set review and as you can see this time it is the Hornby Devon Flyer double O gauge train set. Now this one includes a small O40 little industrial shunter and two open wagons and a brake van. Also comes with the new style analog controller, transformer and track so as you can see it makes one kind of oval, cross between an oval and a circle. So I'll now get to the locos and what's in it. Loco I should say. So get to the loco first. Now this one is slightly better quality than the standard industrial shunters. The paint finish is a lot nicer and I find the running quality is far better too. The cab, as you may be able to see, because my poor zoom. The cab, it has plenty of detail in it. None of it's just painted, but that's pretty good for these shunters. There's also a nice little wheel here, regulator wheel, and nice small coal up here. There's a nice smooth shiny dome here, brass dome, not really brass, but minic, minic brass. And the same there, but the cap on the funnel to mimic brass. There's also this little pipe at the front that just fell off. Um, they're really fragile, but that's something that comes in this pack, detail pack with drivers and all that. Plastic non-sprung buffers and wide permanent couplings. But it runs really well for the kind of motor it has. As you can see, it's called Blue Diamond. Also got two whistles up here, encased kind of. And yes, it also has kind of different um, connecting rods. Instead of just the one along there, it also has one coming up there. So I'll now get to the wagons. This one is one of the open wagons, the standard Hornby tooling, and as you can see, it's nice quality, nice paint finish, and really good under frame detail, and nice spun metal wheels. Permanently attached wide couplings though, and the blue, the bright blue and black livery is really convincing, it looks a bit toyish, but this is kind of a toyish set. There is a picture, that, I mean, there is a set called the Goods Master by Hornby. That one comes with, I think, four wagons maybe, and a little small 040 diesel instead of a steam train. But yeah, that one has better wagons, better detail, or convincing. I'll move on to the next two now. These two, though, aren't as good. You can see these are straight out of the railroad range. Slightly better painting, but basic under frame detail, none under there, and wide cut things. You can just see it's straight from the railroad range. This is believable, though. Highly mining company. Highly. So that's believable, that printing. And then this is really unconvincing. Really unconvincing this brake van. Unlike the premium one, we have no handrails, wire handrails coming up here. Under frame details really moulded and bad. Roof is very basic. These lines here are too thick, and that chimney is too thick, and the hole's not big enough. It's not got a nice feel to it or finish, and it just looks far too high compared to the good Hornby one which I'll just get. Compare for yourself, look, white lines along here, still wide couplings but finer buffers, pipes there, stripes, windows, tall skinnier chimney, thin lines there and wire handrails there, far superior model. But the this is really a good starter set, as we got it for my seven year old brother, so it does what it's good for. Starter set. So I won't do a review on the controller today, but I will do a separate one on it, so that'll be 
in more depth. So I'll now start by showing you this train's slow speed running, which is quite impressive. Yes, this train is moving. And that, that is really good for these kinds of motors, the HP motors. You don't usually expect that. So I'll now stop it and increase the speed. Put it to about 12 o'clock, just past. Oops, wrong direction. Now this is where it gets unrealistically fast. Not even realistic at all. Fun, but certainly unrealistic. So, yes. Very fast. And I'll just give you a quick demonstration of how fast it actually can go. These trains really only would have gone slowly, like that maybe. So, yes, it is too fast, but it is nice and little, really good for the young children. The only thing is, Hornby don't make these kinds of little industrial shunters with higher detail and better motors, so you can get the Ginties, they're slightly better. But Backman makes some good 060 duties, so yeah, if you're looking for one of these, you can't really get one in better quality. The pug is better, but it's a lot smaller. Impossible to fit a DCC chip into basically. And stalls a lot. But mm, and that's fairly expensive for the size and overall quality of the loco. So that's it. The Hornby Devon Flyer. So